Regional Office, 1836, considered the oldest structure in Grand Rapids. Um, it was built as a law office. It stood on the corner of Justice and Monroe, which would be on Monroe, about where the Grand Rapids Art Museum is today. Um, it is a three-room uh, office. This would be the main room of the building. In this back room here, um, we have uh, some wonderful uh, things to look at regarding the age of the home. You have a split lath here, which shows how difficult it would be for a plasterer to make this mm -hmm. and get that, that in the cracks. Whereas up there with the number two, you have the regular lath that we use now and the, a plasterer could get that in there, yeah, a good plasterer. Um, so the, uh, there is a corner here where it shows the wood beams on the original part of the house. This was later moved to um, Ionia North of Michigan Street and it was made into a house so there was additional rooms put on it. Um, as you see, there's no bathroom or kitchen in here because it was a law office. And of course, in 1836, it would have been an outhouse. Mm -hmm. And um, the next room over has a back door, which probably was used as the door to the privy. Okay, so this right here is um, just talking about the restoration and what the oh, research okay. was. Okay. We have some nails, um, some square nails, handmade, and um, some original pieces found that they were able to create some of the uh, trim that they were able to do because of the uh, finding the original pieces tucked away or in walls. When you do an old house, you find wonderful things mm -hmm. in there. Um, just the pictures have not been put out this year. They, um, and a um, group of interns thought it'd be fun to have some old typewriters out and around. And none of them are from the period that it was a law office. So this is an 1890 typewriter, this so after after yep, that. Absolutely. Okay. So normally are there pictures up here do, would, um, if people this come is not visit open again? Much. This is um, not open to the public except on the Heritage Hill tour the last okay. two years. Okay. Good. Well, I'm glad I got in here. <laughs> and then uh, this one just shows how it would be nicely finished off. Had an access to an attic, um, but it would be quite an ordeal to get up there and squeeze through that <laughs> space. Um, and so, like I said, there is a back door. Um, everything's pretty shut up, closed up in here mm -hmm. at normal. So there, there was it was a house at one it point. So house. there were rooms added on the back of they this. Be added on the back. We have a photograph that I can show you that shows that uh, there's a book out about it. And prominent where an addition could have been put on there because mm. this isn't that deep and this is a much deeper house and uh, someone did live there so mm. and then in 1891 um, that's a picture from the Baxter uh, history of Grand Rapids mm. which is kind of an iconic mm -hmm. book. I'm just trying to see the difference between these. Like Those they, are they not added some a different, lot different. This one added some different windows maybe. a window mm -hmm. and then that's what it was like when it was a home. Okay, and so they'd taken out these pillars and put in like square, pillars, square yeah. things. Did they yeah. just put them over them or did they take them um, out? I'm going, I, I don't know, but I'm going to guess that probably they took them they out. They, they, you know, wood rot. And, right, and oh, so that's then true. And they were replaced. Okay, so then, and now mm -hmm. this is what it looks yep. like now, and that yep. was done it in the was restored to using this as a guide. Mm hmm. Um, front of it so it's mm -hmm. fairly close to that area. So eighteen thirty nine for this stove. Yeah. Can you imagine like it's just it, yeah you just put I wonder, a little log in the front. Yeah. I wonder if they could cook on it. <laughs> Warm something up on it maybe.